so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be a little bit something different I don't really do these too much but this is going to be a first impressions video first impressions yes so I do have some products here that I've been trying out and I wanted to give you my thoughts on them and basically that's about it so they do come from different places you can purchase some of these you can also get some of these if you do video reviews you can check out octoly.com where you can get free products and in return all you have to do is a video which is awesome because they have loads of different stuff so I will post that for you girls below if you're interested in getting some really great cosmetics or what have you hair products Products, skin products actually has it all so I will post that below so let's begin with my first impressions and I'm not really sure they don't all come from Octoly but I will let you know which ones do and I'll just post it in below so this one here my first impressions is the wink eyelash and eyebrow enhancer so of course you girls know I love to do my lashes with individual lashes that's all I basically wear as well as I do draw some of my eyebrows on so let's just get into the fact that over time from tweezing your eyebrows, they don't grow back as fast as possible or as thick as possible. So I have been using this for two weeks and my first impressions of it at first was like, I don't really know, do I see any type of, you know, progress, what have you. I did start seeing progress, but you know something, I just started tweezing the progress away. Because I have this thing, like, I don't want my brows to grow all over the place. Then what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go walk around with crazy looking brows for like a month or two until they grow in. And that just would defeat the purpose of wearing makeup. So I did tweeze them away, but they do grow back super fast. So I will let you guys know this. I'm just going to have to stop tweezing and use this product. But it actually does work. As for the eyelashes, I have not tried this on my lashes because I do wear individuals. And it kind of defeats the purpose. However, when you do wear lashes over a period of time constantly 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 they can actually destroy or damage your own natural eyelash hairs so with that being said it's kind of hard for me to go outside without any type of lashes because I'm so self-conscious um, and what I'll have to do is I'll have to break myself out of wearing individuals and wear just the actual strips I don't wear the strips because it's just too much work for me to do so that's why I prefer the individuals but I will be honest and tell you for the brows this stuff does grow your hairs in like really thick you just have to be very patient and not squeeze them and walk around like with hairy eyebrows for like a month or so or kind of get them shaped in um, I really do want them to just grow back all the way so that way I can get them shaped in and I don't have to draw them in as much but we will see how that works out for me track and brush and you just brush it on your brows and your lash line so I probably could use this with my individuals um I'll have to give it a try and see but we shall see but wink yes I will post their info information below I love their pressed foundation powder which is for pure minerals this right here is their sun kiss glow strobe highlight palette which is really pretty if you see it comes in this cute gold packaging which I love and it's kind of like hammered on the outside really really cheap so in the inside the box or the packaging is more or less like a gold packaging kind of like a mirrored effect it's like a I would say like a dark brown or blackish color and you do have your mirror and these are basically cream highlight contours strobing but the colors are really really pigmented and I did use some of it on my cheeks today and a little on my nose and Cupid's bow so depending on your shade it would this is how it would show up so being that I'm a little fair it does show up on me as really really like a glow except for the bronzier color right here which you know kind of like disappears into my skin you really can't see that but depending on your complexion shade this probably will show up a lot better or more all three of them will probably show up so I think darker tones this would be really great for because it would show up a lot better so for me it works well um, sometimes I do have to put a little bit extra but I love pure minerals this is like a really easy consistency like I said it's a cream kind of like it's not so thick creamy but it's a really nice creamy texture and you can use this also with a beauty blender sponge just make sure it's damp you can apply that as well or like there's certain type of brushes I like to use like a flat um, foundation brush to apply this to my cheeks for the highlighted area if I don't use my beauty blender but 
but I really like this because for one the mirror is a nice size I do like the design of it is very chic especially the box and this is their sun kids glow this is a product from Optoly and the colors are Aurora solar and dusk really colors really pretty colors peachy like a peachy color bronzy and more or less like an iridescent color which is gorgeous you know the glow is in the glow is like really in this year also from octaly and i think this is how you call um pronounce it vivaline 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 so this is their line they do have different types of products i decided to go with the cream foundation so there are different spectrums in this uh, collection this is the cream foundation and i did get the medium dark one medium dark one is more or less anything that has the number one is for yellow tones and the number two is more like for pink tones so i'm more of a yellow tone and i did go on their actual website to see the different colors unfortunately the medium dark was a little bit too dark for my skin tone not too dark um it was just like the actual um ardency in americana foundation that i've been using it's uh, kind of like on that color tone that darkness and i would have to just like blend it in really good depending on if i have like a tan or what have you then i could use this but the color is not that, not too dark. Here it goes right here. But I do like the packaging because for one, you do have a lid that actually goes over your cream foundation, which is really good because it protects it more from like dust. And you know, like cream foundations, you can really like a lot of stuff can adhere to it, like hairs, dust. So this is really cool that it has a lid to cover it. And then for your sponge, you can just put the sponge on top of it. There is a small mirror right here. And that is about it for this one here. I do like the packaging a lot. But like I said, it does have, it is paraben free. And the number one is for the yellow tone. But the cream foundation, I did wear it for one day. I did wear it once. And I did dull the color down a lot. Which I will tell you, it does give a nice coverage so if you want a full coverage you can actually build this up i didn't use the sponge with it because i really find the sponges kind of difficult and they kind of soak up a lot of product what i did was i just basically put it on my face with my fingers and used my flat buffing brush and then just to you know buff it out a little bit more that is when i use my beauty blender sponge but you can check their website i will also post this below for you girls and as well this is another product from Optimus. You guys know that I really really love cosmetics and this is Beauty For Real and there is this is a new makeup brand. Now I will say some of the products I did like and some of them I was kind of like for the price mark they're a little bit high to me but I will tell you some of the products I did like and I will show you those as we go along. So the one thing that I was really fascinated with was actually the um, eyeliner pencil um, it's a more or less a black retractable eyeliner pencil it's really super smooth like this goes on really black I don't really use pencils like this for my top lid but but for my bottom I will but for the particular video I actually use this for my top lid now it didn't drag or snag in my eyelids it really does go on smooth and the color is really black now as for the price point I think the price is kind of a little bit high on my just from my opinion but for the most part the product is a really good product but one of my favorites from them and this is like my favorite one and they only have one of these on their website and I can see why it's their lip liner pencil and you only need one lip liner pencil so they say and this is the one for any color that you wear and I absolutely like freaking love this color so this color I really can't describe it it's more or less like a mauve kind of color it's just so gorgeous Do you see that it goes on so smooth and I love this color like I will put this on first and I didn't wear it today but I will put this on and then use like another color lip gloss or liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick this just really makes the color so pretty so this is the only lip liner that they have I had another pencil that was really similar to this color and I loved it so much and this one here i will tell you is absolutely amazing this is a really really pretty color i'm trying to see what it's called it's just called a universal definition lip pencil the only lip pencil you will ever need so there is no name i don't think or color but if there is i'll post the free girls the high definition voluming volumizing mascara and everything comes in these cute little boxes. Uh, when I first seen this, I was like, oh, so cute and little. But then when I took the um, the mascara wand out, I was like, oh, super small. So the mascara wand is like 
really really small so but it's supposed to still work and give you like really full lashes so with this I only use this for my bottom because I really don't like a lot of bristles on my mascara wand for the bottom because I'm not really trying to get mascara all over the place you girls know for my top lashes I really like like a brush that is like super huge like a really big brush I really really love a really big brush this has been said to give you full volume and length even if it's so small like this so I just use this for my bottom lashes and it does work but for my top I need like a big big like mascara brush. So there is their blush plus glow stick so this kind of reminds me of my contour and highlight stick that I have from um Black Ops Cosmetics, but this is a blush and glow. So, unfortunately, because it's so hot out here in Arizona, it melted, and I did get it to kind of like form back together. So this is the blush end, and I don't really use that color, but I did use the glow end, which I love this color. It's so pretty. And that's it right here. Very creamy texture. Um, really easy to use. I'm not really like a huge fan of cream blushes. So now on to their um, eyeshadow uh, pencils or eyeshadow like they're, they're like the NYX ones. Pull them the shadow stick. And the one thing that I would suggest that they do now right here is where they put what type of shadow, shadow stick, 24-7 eyeshadow. But on this side right here where you see the other writing, it just says, you know, all made in germany uh, beauty for real llc p.o box and then that's where they have the actual name of the color at too all day latte which is kind of confusing because i really think that the name should be over here of the actual color at first i was like oh well how are you supposed to even know that what color you're wearing because it's not on here so i just kept staring at it for like five minutes until i realized okay here it goes all the way over here with the p.o box and where it was made at it really should be like over here that's just my pet peeve and i'm pretty sure every there are people that will probably agree like that's where they're normally at but anyway so this is all day latte which is a gorgeous color i would put this on my lips i mean seriously i would because i love that color right there it is so pretty it's like a mauve kind of purplish pinkish color it's just so pretty i love this color and you can either use this for just eyeshadow or as an eyeshadow base or be brave like me and put it on your lips it's just makeup it's all the same i like their eyeshadow sticks a lot a lot a lot this one right here is called ever starstruck and it's also another eyeshadow pencil more like a champagne pop kind of color i think i'm running out of space here but this one right here Girl, I would highlight and glow with this, okay? The heck with the eyeshadow. You know, you can use this for, like, everything. So, if you just carry this in your purse and you have a date, you're like, oh, my God, I only have this. Listen, do the glow, do the eyeshadow, do the inner tear duct, do the highlights. You'll be good with this once, that one color right there. This eyeshadow stick right here, which I have is, let's see which one this is. I think I like all of them really, really a lot. Uh, like, really, really a lot. Midnight Marathon, which is more or less like a bronzy kind of color. Um, kind of like that bronzy kind of color. So that one is right here. Now, you can't wear that one as a glow. I mean, you probably could, depending on your color complexion. That would probably look good as a glow, too. Let me see if I could put it right here so you guys can really see it. So, yeah, I mean, you could. It has its, its sparkle and its glow and its iridescent color. So, you probably could use that as a glow as well. And the last thing that I have from them is their lip gloss. And I really do like this lip gloss. Like, who doesn't like lip glosses that light up? This is nothing new. They've been around for a minute. This is probably, like, my sixth one, but I do like it. It does have the actual mirror on the back. And... Being that it's so bright out, you're not going to be able to see the light but it does have a light and it's really cool because I would use this if I couldn't find something but the color that I have here is called light my fire and this is not like a matte lipstick or anything this is actually a lip gloss uh I'll be honest and tell you I don't really like the color at all I don't really like the consistency of it because it kind of like skips um so I'm really not a huge fan of the lip gloss I don't really like 
lip glosses of certain colors. And this one to me is really not like a really good quality lip gloss because it kind of like skips. So that was my first impressions for Beauty For Real. And I will post their information below as well. And these are like a great dupe for any matte paint pots. These are the e.l.f. smudge pots. This one here that I have is called Ain't That Sweet. And I have like a bunch of these. Like seriously, a bunch of these. These are gorgeous, gorgeous paint pots. Um, really inexpensive. I got this one actually from the Dollar Tree. You can get them from the website for $2, but from the Dollar Tree, they're a buck. Um, and first impressions when I first got this, I was like, oh my God, amazed. Because I got them free um, from Elf from just ordering certain stuff. So I was so happy that I got, I think I got three colors, which was blue, a cop, like a penny brownie color, and a gold color. And let me tell you guys, for the price point, these work are these cosmetics are really really great elf does have some really great stuff so i give it to them for that they have some good stuff y'all really really good stuff now also i did get some lipsticks from one of my favorites which is sister21.com and they are the sister site to sisterwigs.com so the lipstick that i'm actually wearing today is the nyx soft matte lip cream and the color that I have on, I think it's called Abu Dhabi. And I love this one because the color is so pretty and just so rich. It's a really pretty color. It goes really well with basically any skin tone. Depending on your skin tone, it will show up a different color. So I do like this so much. Like this is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite matte lipsticks right now from NYX. So yes, you can pick these up for really cheap on sister21.com. Also, I did get a lip clump it up. Plumper by NYX also, which is in the color Jessica. This has like little sparkles in it. So pretty, nice color. You can even top it over this color if you wanted to. And just give it like a little sparkle. Um, but yeah, you know, I love my lips to be plump. So this works semi good. Um, does it replace my um, Too Faced Ex Lip Extreme? No, but it does work really well. Also, I did get some of their gel liquid sparkle glitter liners. Oh my god, I love these things. Like, you can so use the one this as an eyeliner, you can put this in your crease. So, I did get like the silverish black color, a lavender lilac color, and a gold color. Really, really great product, especially from NYX. They have like the best cosmetics ever. Just got some yeah. eyeliner pencils in the same kind of color spectrum. A lilac, a gold, and a bluish kind of metal. I was in Walmart and I decided to pick these up because my first impressions of this was for the price, these are so cheap, and I absolutely love this nail polish brand, which is Sinful Shine. Um, now, first of all, my first nail polish that I fell in love with was by Simple Shine, and I picked it up from Walgreens, like, years ago, like, right before I moved here, which was, like, three and a half years ago. And this is actually the Kylie Jenner collection from Sinful Shine, Sinful Colors. You can pick these up at Walmart. These were $2.29, I want to say. But I love these. I love, like, the neutral colors. So I do have tan lines, which is a... This is just, like, a really, really pretty color. And then also I have King Kylie, which is, like, a rose gold color. Like, this color is absolutely gorgeous. And for $2.29, you cannot beat that, um, especially for great nail polish. I love simple colors. I still use the same color. I have that on my feet today. Um, I still use the same color, which is my favorite, and that was the one that, like, drew me to them. So I think I'm going to start polishing my nails more. I don't get them done because I'm always constantly making a wig, but I think I should just at least polish them to make them look pretty or, you know, something like that. But anyway, so yes, I will post all the information below of where you can get these great products from. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as my first impressions and so forth and so forth. That's about it. So stay diva and divalicious. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.